Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share handbags that I sold and why and also I'm going to combine to which handbags that I sold but I regret selling. I don't have many but I'll share a couple. And you know what? Tomorrow is my birthday. By the time you're watching this video, it'll be already after birthday but October is my birthday month so wanted to celebrate with you guys. If you go to my Instagram, you will see the little cute LV giveaway. It's going on right now. So head there if you haven't checked out my Instagram. It's same as here, LV Lover CC. I'm hosting it with my dear friend Mel from Mel in Melbourne. So that's that. It's exciting. It's a cute one. So you guys will love it also. So this video I made long time ago, years, years, years back, um, where I haven't really seen anyone doing it. So it's kind of like a tag. It's been around, I think, since then. And I haven't made one and I've been asked so much from you guys to make one to share why I had to sell them and what was the reason behind or why I didn't like them. So this type of video could really help out. And I want to point out two things. One, I don't buy handbags to resell. That's not my purpose of buying. I most of the time I think through, I research enough hard and long for me to jump on a bag. I don't normally impulse buy. I'm not that kind of type. I like thinking. That's kind of like process I enjoy actually. And research, knowing about the bag, like the brand background, why they made this style, this type, this hardware, and all the little things. I love details. So also when I let the bags go, that's because I don't really use the bag for not just a month or two, not like that, but six months, normally one year, I give that time to see if I will fall back in love or end up using it. Also, I don't want to regret selling, which I will talk about. Yeah, in a minute. And the second, the handbags that I talk about in this video and mentioning why I sold them, the reasons, you don't have to apply to yours from your collection. It's just my own experience and my lifestyle. It will be different, like totally different than yours. So the handbags have no problems and yeah, no issues with those brands and that particular handbag. They're fantastic. That's why I went for them, but it just didn't work out. So, okay, let's move on with the first one and the one that a lot of you asked me why I sold out. And let me grab the same handbag in different colors so you guys know. Okay, Coco Handle, I went through from when Chanel just released. I got one in the medium size black with the gunmetal color hardware and I got that. I remember it in Hawaii and that was like first release. So the shape of it was so classy and the price was so so good at that time and now of course the price went up but still I think the price is great and the style it's so classy and it's going to be around for a long time from Chanel. The reason that I sold the medium size is that the size of the bag, I just didn't need that much of the space at that time. Also, when I saw them bringing out more small size handbags, I wanted to go with those. So I let that go. And also I remember the subscriber reaching out and she's been really wanting to buy that particular color and the size and the hardware so that's why i let that go so i got the mini size the red color with the gold hardware that combination was perfection and i loved it so much but at that time i had too many red color handbags especially from chanel and they all look very similar um, of course the same color and all caviar leather and the first release of the coco handle they didn't come with the size mini this one and also this shoulder strap was not 
detachable so you cannot remove it this upgrade was just great great touch that they have upgraded so you can take this off and use it as a handheld kind of clutch type of style handbag and also another upgrade that they have changed is the length of the shoulder strap it used to be longer at that time and also still now i have the chanel red color classic flap mini size the mini classic flap has the perfect shoulder strap length to wear crossbody for me i'm almost 5'5 five five, so it was just perfect but with the shoulder strap the coco handle the previous version was longer than this but too short to wear as crossbody but too long to wear single shoulder strap like this when i was letting that red one go i knew it i will add another one with different color i wanted more variety of color even though that didn't happen with baby pink so now this is what i recently added to my collection and i am very very happy to add this lilac color since we're talking about the classic mini flap let's move on with classic mini <laughs> craziness that i went through you guys know i fell in love with crossbody and the size and just the look of it and also it's cheaper actually if you compare it to the medium and the jumbo and the amount of the time that i use i just loved classic mini and especially the rectangular over square the one that i sold is the same shape rectangular and the mini flap but the turquoise color which i absolutely loved and that color was very very sought after and the best turquoise color i've ever seen only reason that i sold it was i never ever really reached for it major reason only the color just didn't work out for me so i am a just pink and red and black and white neutral color person i guess but the thing is i love navy blue and i could pair it with pretty much every outfit i wear so that's kind of interesting but that turquoise shade it just didn't work out for me at the time so i had to let it go even though i loved it and i kept it so long even though i really didn't use it and another mini i let go was surprise surprise baby pink color same rectangular shape and chevron and oh, it was just perfect baby pink color very pale and beautiful but i just couldn't handle seeing just too many same color handbags especially from same brand i thought this light gold looked somewhat baby pink do you guys see that somewhat like that and also i added trendy cc baby pink even though it's not as pale as that mini i just thought that i have too many of the same color super similar color handbags just like the red that i had i was like wow i have too many red they're all from chanel and looking so similar so yeah one that i chose to let go also the subscriber who emailed me and asked about it actually a lot of you asked about that handbag and i still get asked now chanel never makes the same exact shade color but very similar right so i just had to let one go next is lv louis vuitton twist medium size black epi leather with the palladium hardware the silver beautiful shiny silver hardware i love that combination but when i had it i had also boy bags from chanel and i had exact same combination even though it was not epi leather but black calf leather and with the shiny silver hardware and the look is similar and the length of the chain was similar and just different brand of course they're totally different handbag the style is different i know it but the chain and everything was quite similar so when i had to pick out of those two handbags i picked lv the twist other reason if i can add to that style of the bag 
I didn't quite enjoy the way how the sideway on top when you open the flap for the twist was I don't know how to explain it but it was there and whenever you put something inside you always have to try to fit right you cannot just you know casually put things inside I have to always organize and make it right and on the bottom of the twist there is a little wave that area also eats up a lot of space so it's just a handbag that is a little bit cumbersome for me to use at that time so that is that but I love the look of LV and the twist and guess what recently <laughs> Actually, yesterday, Julini, my favorite essay of the all time LV essay in Jacksonville, Florida. <sighs> She's back from maternity leave, so I'm like ooh, excited about all the new LVs that is coming out. Anyway, she sent me this brand new handbag twist, and it's got the smoother leather and also it has the top handle, so I'm like ooh. <laughs> of course she knows my style and what I love so I was like oh my goodness I need to try that yeah if you're interested check that out it's a brand new release from LV okay let's talk about Chanel boy handbags I had two one was the red lambskin and the old medium size and it had the beautiful brush gold finish like a vintage look beautiful combination but it was a lambskin and i was just so afraid to use it i have one trendy cc and every time i you know like look at it i love it and the, i love the feel of it but it's really depending on your lifestyle and how many kids and how old they are that really changes the style of the bag you really grab and go because lambskin i'm afraid not because I may scratch off or ruin the bag but because I have three little children they are beautiful I love them so much but because I have them all the time I pick other bags that are more durable and yeah more practical side so lambskin is not my first choice yeah let's put that way so that's why I let that go but also other reason Chanel boy just is not the style. I learned this a hard way, right? From buying two handbags. Yeah, it's just not my style. I didn't really know it or I didn't get it. I thought I can pull it off and I can just wear it, the edginess of it, but it just didn't work out for my style. That's the first thing. And the second thing I would say is that the design of the bag it just didn't suit me or it just makes me uncomfortable wearing it because the edges are so sharp and boxy and also the flap is all the way down whereas the classic flap hits in the middle part like this one this classic flap has the flap like the middle part of it so it's just easier for me whereas the boy bag goes all the way down so when you open it just kind of like you know you have to go through like that to look at it that's just me being picky let's say that and also the chain always get my hair just pulling off i have long hair and yeah but other handbags really didn't do that so when that bag was kept bothering me crossbody i was like oh my goodness it really hurt and the black one i had it was a calf leather and the calf leather once it gets scuffed off there's no way around it so yeah that's the reason also i was afraid to use it so once i know it the handbag doesn't work out the style of it and I, if i see myself afraid to use it i'm like there's no point for me to have that bag you know well, Next is another Chanel and Chanel reissue. Surprise, surprise. And it was the black on black, hard to get style. And I got it in Paris. And the size was perfect. But I just learned this again. I told myself when I let that go, I was like, Karis, do not ever buy black on black. 
you don't even love black that much. Why did you choose black on black? And I'm like, I wanted something special, different than just typical reissue, black with gold, black with gunmetal, you know? But I was like, initially I thought of going with reissue black with gold hardware to have the most classic combination from Chanel, the brand. I love the history behind and everything. But I went with black on black just because I was so excited to see that combination. Black on black is always so popular from Chanel and they had one. And SA was kept telling me, this is like amazing. You're so lucky this is available because normally everybody buy black and black right away. And I was like, oh, should I go with it? But I always wanted to have at least one reissue in my collection. But from having the reissue, I know it. It is very comfortable handbag and the style and it's worry-free type of handbag from Chanel. So I would love to add in the future with the same size, but different hardware, maybe not black, who knows? I really like nude color. So reissue is in my wish list. Okay, let's move on with Hermes. Hermes Kelly pochette, mini pochette, rose azuri. Oh, beautiful, right? But that bag I let go actually recently. So when I didn't have that in my pink and red collection video, some of you point that out and I actually forgot about it because I didn't regret selling it even though that handbag is very very sought after and before I sell my handbags I always research and seeing what the price people are asking in the resale market and also the current price so when I searched it I found out people were selling like double or triple I was like what you know but i know our mess handbags are very popular and that style is very hard to get from the boutique you guys know i even bought that long scarf like thin one so i can wrap it up on the handle part to wear a crossbody which is genius and also it's the pochette so it's the clutch style so it looks so cute to wear it just with the top handle as a clutch but with the, sh the long scarf thing I don't know, I didn't really enjoy or like the look of it, honestly. Even though I bought it, I know it. In the store, things happen, guys, especially in Paris. Watch out <laughs> if you happen to go there. The stage that I am in as a mom, having three little babies, it's just not, you know, practical having clutch, right? So that's the only reason but I could have kept that handbag and maybe in the future I may regret selling it when the time comes that I can use small tiny clutch and go to nice fancy restaurants with my husband but for now I was okay because the one who bought from me was so excited and she's been really wanting that handbag for a long time so Happy for you and congratulations. And of course I gave her with great, great price because I don't like to double up or triple up for, yeah, when I sell the bag. One more Hermes bag I have that I sold is the Kelly 28 return. But this is the bag that I regret selling. And I'm not quite sure if I had it and kept it, if I would have used honestly, but it was, very special just thinking my essay from directly from my boutique where I go and shop he offered it for the first time and also it was just beautiful blue color things change when you're single it's different when you are couple it's different when your family with kids it's different and yeah when you get older the lifestyle all changes so the size and the style of the bag and the color also changes what works for you or not. So that's why. But I still regret because it was a return and the Togo leather, beautiful with the palladium hardware. I love from Hermes. So I don't know. One day I hope to add the same color blue bag 
from our mess. Next is Fendi Peekaboo. I had this medium size magenta color, beautiful deep pink color. Also, this is the one that I regret selling. At that time, when I sold it, it was the time I was cleaning out my handbags. I wanted to downsize, I tried really hard. Guess what? It became more after that, but anyways, I tried to downsize. I remember at that time I had Lydia, my second baby. She's now four, but yeah, she was really little. And I wanted to use that handbag as a diaper bag, but it becomes really heavy as the handbag is already quite heavy because it's got a lot of leather and that leather is just gorgeous. I still remember it, the feel of it. I love Fendi Peekaboo from having it. I know it, I would love that handbag again. So it is in my wish list, but not the bigger size like medium, but they have newer sizes like small one. I love so much and more of modern shape now that they have updated. That's Lydia. <laughs> and they changed a little bit so i love it or the original style but the mini size or the small size the next one and this is the last one in this video lv palm spring mini backpack i still have the pm and mm in my collection um mini oh, so cute isn't it and it's canvas very durable and it's just perfect bag to wear going to Disney World with kids and also great for running errands. You can cross body, you can wear a backpack. But the reason I didn't really enjoy wearing that bag was the shoulder strap being so long as backpack and it really didn't look good on me. My height, I'm almost 5'5", five five, not that tall. It looks just so good and just perfect and chic on taller girls, like tall and skinny. Look just fantastic. But for me, backpack style didn't look good. So the crossbody style look better and looks really cute. I took the bag going to Disney World. So when you're wearing a crossbody with that mini palm spring, it just the shoulder strap ends up going right this narrow section. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. End up right, right there. And also the bag is more of square or longer size. So when you're running around with the kids and chasing them, so when you're running, like it goes like this. Whereas like this handbag will stay more flush like to your body. I mean, that was not a big issue, but just to mention about that handbag. And another thing which now they have changed is the zipper area where it was so hard to open because they have a little um, canvas coming out on top of the zipper section. Every time you try to open the bag, it's very, very hard to open. Like I had to always go through like this type of thing, like zip, 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 and open. So I will just leave it open because it'll be so hard to close again and try to open again. So that was an issue, but now they have changed. So now it's more pronounced, the zipper area and that coming out section with that canvas. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about, like all this. <laughs> that section is gone. It's more of like pushed in. So they did a good job changing that up because a lot of people complain about that area for Palm Spring in general. So yeah, that was the reason I let that go, but it is so cute. And when I was letting that one go, I knew it, I will get the can. <laughs> which has a problem with the opening again, but I still have that bag in my collection. I hope you guys find this video informative and helpful. Yes, and if you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. If October is your birthday month, happy birthday. We are twins, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.